hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you a very cool technique for in painting your generated images using a combination of flora and in painting workflow this method is very effective for adding details to your images like fire clouds water and also particle effects this tutorial is gonna be divided into two parts the first part we're gonna work on this image of abandoned city and we're gonna try adding some details of the second part we're gonna choose an image of a man and we're gonna also add some interesting stuff on it so without further ado let's dive into tutorial okay the necessary file for this tutorial is gonna be only the LoRa models since we're gonna use a basic workflow with the checkpoint loader and two, eff a two effective key sampler. In order to find those LoRa model, you can check the link on the description. It's civitai.com, which contains a lot of interesting model and LoRa's. And before we start, I'm gonna work on two workflow. The first workflow is gonna be needed for the generative images. Since we're gonna do in painting on existing images, I'm gonna make sure to create my own images. And for the second workflow, we're gonna add the necessary nodes for the in-painting method. So let's start working on the first workflow. I'm gonna use Real Vision Turbo model as a checkpoint. Let's change the resolution to 124 since it is the SD Excel model. Let's change the colors as always green for the positive and red for the negative okay i'm gonna delete this save image and add preview image since we have our turbo model then we're gonna decrease the cfg scale to 1.5 and the steps to 10. let's change the simpler name to dpm plus plus and the scheduler to colors. I'm gonna add the group and then right click and select fit group to nodes. Let's also edit this style group. Image generation. Okay. Now we have our image generation group. For the first image, I'm gonna simply using my previous prompt and paste it here for now let's leave the negative prompt as it is let's click q prompt and see the results okay this image seems perfect for our workflow i'm gonna save it for now and generate more images i also like this one I'm gonna also save it. Now that we have our city image, let's start working on the in painting workflow. Okay, now select our first prompt by clicking Shift and using the mouse. I'm gonna deselect this one. Click Control and paste it. Then use Shift and drag this workflow here. First of all, I'm gonna add a LoRa loader for our LoRa models. And let's connect it with our key sample. And also connect the clip with the clip text. I'm gonna change the strength model of our LoRa to 1.2425. Okay. Then I'm gonna remove this one and also remove our key sampler i'm gonna use a key sampler efficient also i'm gonna delete this vae decode and this preview images since the key sampler efficient gonna show us the image let's plug everything together here now i'm gonna need a note image for our images. I'm 
I'm going to select this generated images. And let's add another nodes. The first one is going to be VAE Ingle. Let's connect it here and connect our node images. Now we're going to use this mask here and combine it with another node, which is the set latent noise mask. Then we're going to combine the latent of this VAE encode with this latent noise mask. And let's plug the latent on the key sampler. Okay, now select the first key sampler and duplicate it. Make sure to connect the latent of the first one to the second one. Then let's add the positive prompt and the negative prompt. Also connect the LoRa model with the second key sampler. Let's also change the step to two. The CFG and the step. For the first one, make sure that you have a denoise value of 0 0.6. And for the second one, I'm gonna choose it 0 0.66. However, I'm going to change the simpler name to DPM++ and the scheduler to Keras. For the first one, I'm going to use Euler Ancestral and leave the scheduler to normal. Okay, I'm going to also plug this VAE input here. Let's add another group. And we're going to make sure that it fits with the nodes. Let's change its name and also its color. I'm going to name it Image Laura in Painting. Okay, now we're going to start our in painting process. To do so, make sure to go to your load image nodes, right click, and select open in mask editor. Here you can see that you have the circle here that is going to allow us to paint all over the images. You can see it. And here you have the thickness control, but you can use your mouse to change this thickness. First, I'm going to start by adding some realistic stormy clouds. So I'm going to paint this area over here. I think it should be enough. Then click Save Notes. And I'm going to go to our lower model and select stormy clouds. Then I'm going to Edit my prompt and select Storm, Storm, Clouds, Realistic Clouds, Masterpiece, My Resolution. Okay, let's click Q prompt, but before that, make sure to disable this first group here, otherwise, it's gonna generate a new images. And let's see what we got. Okay, now we have our image, and you can see that it adds realistic clouds. We did it with two key samplers to add more details. Let's open up this image. And you can see that we have our stormy clouds over there. Okay. I'm gonna save this image. Go back to my load image and select this image again. Open up the mask editor and we're gonna do another impacting process. This one I'm gonna add water puddles on the row. And I 
I think it should be enough. Let's save this image. I'm gonna change my Lua model. And let's edit this positive prompt. What face? What? Puddles. Reflective. Water. Okay. Now let's click your prompt and see what we got. Our second image is ready. You can see that it adds a water puddles here. Let's open up this image. And we have our water puddles. Let's also open up the first image. And you can see that the, the quality is very low. That's why we use 2K sampler in order to have much realistic quality as ever. So let's save this image again. Let's go back to our load image. And I'm gonna load it. Now I'm gonna open up the mask editor. And I'm gonna try to add some grass and mouse over the building here. So I'm gonna paint this area. I'm gonna also paint this area. I will paint this car over here. Let's save the notes. I'm gonna also load another Laura, which is called Overgrowth. Let's edit our clip text. Let's click Q prompt and see what we got. Our image is complete, but you can see that the first one seems to me better than the second one. Here we have our growth mouse all over the car and the building. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. Make sure that you push the like button for me and leave a comment. If you like this type of video, there is a ton of other AI video on my playlist. You can check them out and stay tuned for the next video. So thank you.